Hey guys, this is the sugar cane after they have been inside for about four months here. We're looking at uh, today's around January 13th, excuse me, February 13th, and I moved them inside right around the first week, second week of October. So you're October, November, December, January, and February. You got a full four months in the ground here. Um, I'm going to show you how they are growing or not growing. Like this plant's probably pretty much has done the best but we haven't seen much additional growth out of them. Uh, they have just been kind of maintaining and the smaller stalks have been dying off. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of pruning on them, um, but they look like they may be able to last me uh, another month until I start to uh, replant them. So we'll be looking at middle of March and I want to try to give these guys a good seven month growing time. Um, and then with seven months March, Seven months out from there, we're looking at October. And then that October time, uh, hopefully I can get a good three months, excuse me, seven months out of there. Um, but they're still maintaining. You can see a lot of them have died off from the bases. Some of these even smaller ones are pretty much all dead. Uh, you can see like this one right in the middle. I'm going to pull that out right now. Um, and as you can see, I'm actually trimmed quite a bit away Uh and kind of thinned out those smaller ones that they have died off. But you can see the, the little eyes on these guys, uh, on a lot of them here, still seem pretty viable. So I should be able to cut these into little pieces uh, and then get a different plant from each one of these eyes and then hopefully grow some from the existing um, root ball that's down there. See another one that we have here. Now this one hasn't done as good. A lot of it's died off. I'm just going to let it sit, though, because it's not really hurting anything. Um, and none of these are really any of the bigger ones. Maybe that one there had some sugar cane potential on it. And a couple eyelets down here that I may be able to... Let's see if I can get that on the camera there. There we go. Maybe, maybe get that to grow and grow some more off of... Um, each individual piece here but we'll find out here pretty soon and there's one more i'm just going to cut away into and get to the one that's been back in the corner and this is the other one that was in the corner here it was pre-sprouted node number one or two something like that and it's maintained but it's definitely dying off as well you can see this piece here if i go up this whole part of the top half of it's all done for but hopefully down here, it's got viable eyes on it. Some focus on there for you. There we go. And some other ones down in the bottom as well. And again, trying to get that root ball. I was shooting for about uh, middle of March. I'll get them going inside, and that'll give them two months longer uh, than I had them last year. And these guys have been growing underneath a, a T5 light. And it's a 20,000 lumen T5 fluorescent light. And it's been growing on these guys here with the other ones that we have. There's also a south-facing window right here, too. So it gets uh, some natural light to it, as long with, uh, with some supplemental light. And these were half of the plants. I'll show you the other half that I have had going in a LED light growing environment, just to kind of see what the difference uh, in overwintering would be and just a quick shot of what it looks like outside right now there's snow it's cold it's Lincoln Nebraska uh, in the middle of winter time so considering they're not doing too bad for being indoors now these are the plants that have been growing underneath a 1500 watt LED light I'm gonna point it up there real quick I probably won't be able to see it very good because the lighting on there but you can see it's up there it's a 1500 watt and I've had four plants in here um, the one over here, pretty much all toast. You can see I've cut it down, cut it down. Uh, all through here, you feel up, it's pretty much dead right through there. And this one as well, there's really nothing going on right there. As a matter of fact, I'll probably just cut it. And you can see there's nothing going on in there. Um, but what I'm hoping for is these nodes here, the little eyelets on these guys. I don't know how well you can see them. Uh, one there, one there, a couple on the other side. Hopefully I can get these to uh, sprout in the spring and actually get some more um, nodes coming down all the way from the bottom from the root ball as well. 
Uh, here in about a month again, uh, I'll get that taken care of, see if I can get them to sprout. Got another one going over here. It's really the same idea. I apologize for the light. It's kind of tricky on the eyes. Um, but you can see some nodes here. This plant is pretty much uh, toast as well. A little bit green left to it. It's not totally dead. Um, but it is on its way out. This one that's done better. Um, probably remember it from earlier ones here. This is the one that had the three mature stalks on it. Again, hoping for the eyes uh, to produce some in the spring. And uh, you can see up to the top kind of how I've trimmed them. Uh, as the leaves die off here, I kind of cut them in half. These top parts uh, were pretty much just dead. So I just gone ahead and cut those off. And then we got the last one here. And you can see how this one's been doing. The eyes on this look really good down at the bottom though. So a lot of potential for that. You'll see it right down there. Another one on the other side. And hopefully I can get those to grow in the spring. Um, this plant's doing okay. Um, if I peel off some of these parts here, you'll see it actually has more sugar cane that has developed since it's been inside. So this plant's doing healthy. Just wish it was a little bit better. Uh, up till about a month ago, it was growing pretty well. You can still see the foliage there reaching up all the way to the to the top of the little greenhouse I got going on. Same thing with all these plants, but about oh, about two or three weeks ago, it started really showing stress levels on it. Started cutting back the plants. Um, but hopefully in the spring, here in about a month, I'm going to start these going inside and I'll be able to revive some of these and grow some uh, some more sugar cane from each of these and of course get some more to grow from the root ball.